April 13th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapters 27 and 28 from the Old Testament. The Lord delivers and vindicates me. I fear no one. The Lord protects my life. I am afraid of no one. When evil men attack me to devour my flesh, when my adversaries and enemies attack me, they stumble and fall. Even when an army is deployed against me, I do not fear. Even when war is imminent, I remain confident. I have asked the Lord for one thing. This is what I desire. I want to live in the Lord's house all the days of my life so I can gaze at the splendor of the Lord and contemplate in his temple. He will surely give me shelter in the days of danger. He will hide me in his home. He will place me on an inaccessible rocky summit. Now I will triumph over my enemies who surround me. I will offer sacrifices in his dwelling place and shout for joy. I will sing praises to the Lord. Hear me, O Lord, when I cry out. Have mercy on me and answer me. My heart tells me to pray to you, and I do pray to you, O Lord. Do not reject me. Do not push your servant away in anger. You are my deliverer. Do not forsake or abandon me, O God who vindicates me. Even if my father and mother abandoned me, the Lord would take me in. Teach me how you want me to live. Lead me along a level path because of those who wait to ambush me. Do not turn me over to my enemies. For false witnesses who want to destroy me testify against me. Where would I be if I did not believe I would experience the Lord's favor in the land of the living? Rely on the Lord. Be strong and confident. Rely on the Lord. To you, O Lord, I cry out. My protector, do not ignore me. If you do not respond to me, I will join those who are descending into the grave. Hear my plea for mercy when I cry out to you for help, when I lift my hands toward your holy temple. Do not drag me away with evil men, with those who behave wickedly, who talk so friendly to their neighbors while they plan to harm them. Pay them back for their evil deeds. Pay them back for what they do. Punish them, for they do not understand the Lord's actions or the way he carries out justice. The Lord will permanently demolish them. The Lord deserves praise, for he has heard my plea for mercy. The Lord strengthens and protects me. I trust him with all my heart. I am rescued and my heart is full of joy. I will sing to him in gratitude. The Lord strengthens his people. He protects and delivers his chosen king. Deliver your people. Empower the nation that belongs to you. Care for them like a shepherd and carry them in your arms at all times. God, you know that I'm madly in love with you. It shouldn't come as much of a surprise. But both you and I know that I wasn't always like this. I don't think that I could be further away from you at certain points in my life, rejecting you, making fun of people like me, calling them Bible thumpers, arguing with people, if there even was a God. I will never fully understand forgiveness. I will never fully understand what you did for us out of love. But I do know that I have been on the huge receiving end of a multitude of forgiveness. I thank you for this relationship we have. I, I love it because every day I get up and I learn more about you. And I get to fall in love with you more. And our relationship grows deeper and I, I come to learn more and more pieces about you and about your world and about your amazing people. All I truly want is to spend eternity with you. There's a point in my life where I didn't get the purpose of heaven. Sure, if you go to hell, you're tormented. If you go to heaven, it's all bright and beautiful. 
you know, kind of that <laughs> feeling that that most people have who don't truly understand. But now I get to worship you for eternity. I, I don't know how it all works when we get up there, if we suddenly know all these new things about you or if for the rest of eternity I get to learn more and more about you and it's just this amazing relationship I work on forever and ever and that would be kind of crazy awesome. I, I don't know what that looks like. But I love that verse that I have only asked you for one thing. Now, up until this point, I've asked you for so many things in my life. Even when I was as far away from you as possible, I used to trade certain things in my life. If you'll just do this for me, I'll do this for you. But now I just have one wish. To spend eternity with you, gazing at the splendor of the Lord and contemplate in his temple. How absolutely amazing would that be? But the next psalm after that is where my mind now goes because I'm, I'm not in heaven with you yet. My mind right now goes to in the next chapter where you talk about uh, people who talk friendly to their neighbors while they plan to harm them. So if I'm going to be madly in love with you, God, then automatically, because I have your heart, I'm going to be madly in love with your people as well. God, even, even the people who come against me or talk behind my back or whatever mean things that they do, I still want what I have with you for them. I want all of them to fall madly in love with you. I want all of them to have the peace that I have. I want their life to not be in so much pain that they have to lash out at people or lie to people or intentionally destroy other people's life. I want all of that for them. God, my prayer today for you is allow all of us to have the love of you inside of us so that we only want what is best for other people that we don't want to harm them, that we don't want to do evil or revenge towards them, that we just want to show them kindness and your love. I just sometimes think about how amazing it would be if every single person, every single person on earth was worshiping you. I get overwhelmed just thinking if every single person on my block was worshiping you at the same time. But every single person in the entire world. Oh, how magnificent that day will be. I do cry out to you for help. Please help me show other people your amazing love for them. So they can have a heart of yours that is filled with love instead of pain and rejection and defeat. God, I just pray for those people so much today. They are so lost. And I know how they feel because I was there once. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me to this point. Thank you for this amazing relationship. Thank you for the peace of my heart. Thank you for the love and forgiveness and grace and mercy that you have shown me. Eternity is not long enough to thank you for all you've given me. I love you very much. In your son's name I pray. Amen. Amen.